Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series on this SAP BTP Cloud Workflow Joining Scenarios. In this training, in this session, we are going to talk about how can we automate employee onboarding process scenarios with employee joining in this training and in granting session, the necessary equipment and how can we devices to the employee onboarding when an employee is onboarded with to the employee BTP joining in this training and in granting this so the necessary the employee, employee onboarding and starts devise an HR by filling a form. So the very first thing which HR employee. will do is fill a form, provide the necessary employee data. For simplicity, I just kept the properties like employee name, employee country department and the employee band the employee band is very important it will determine the the current position of an employee in the organization the next step we will make a call to send this employee data to our real sap system in this case we are using s4hana system so we have established the connectivity to post this data to s4hana so there will be a post request from sap btp to s4hana system in the third step we are going to take the response coming out of S4HANA and map this response to our rule service payload. So we do this uh, mapping between the response data to the rule service payload. And the next step we will call a business rule service in SAP BTP. The business rule service is typically used to calculate the typical business rules in our company. Evaluate these rules outside the workflow or outside your application logic completely decoupling the business rules in a way that you can evaluate these rules outside and let them execute, let them functionalize and send the rule service response back to the workflow. So this way you can model the rules outside s even the non-technical users can do that outside the BTP workflow environment. With the changing needs and compliance, you can modify and develop and readjust your rules the way you want without touching your workflow definition. So that's the main purpose. So in this use case, what we will do is once an employee is onboarded, depending on the employee band, whether employee join in T1 band, T2 band and T3 band, we will assign a credit card to the employee. So if it's T1 band, we will assign the silver credit card. If it is T2 band, we assign the gold credit card. If it is T3 band, it will assign the platinum credit card to the employee. And this entire thing is built in a external rule service and we will be calling this rule service from BTP and finally we will trigger an email for the to the employee that you are successfully onboarded in the company with your job and a our company is granting you a credit card depending on the band so let me now demonstrate this in the system I'm going to switch over back to BTP you can see I've already modeled this workflow and we are calling first the s 4 ana system here then we are mapping in the script task. Then we are calling our business rule service to determine the credit card type depending on the band. And finally, we are triggering the email. For the detailed training on SAP BTP workflow, you can subscribe to our SAP BTP workflow. You can find the course page of this training in the description of this current video where we've covered all these things in detail in our training and learned how to develop these kind of scenarios complex business scenarios with integrations in our BTP workflow training. For now, let me proceed further and demonstrate and show you how it works. So I'm going to switch over back to our BTP workflow management and go to my workflow definition and start the employee onboarding process. We will say uh, trigger a new instance and this is the data which we will pass. So you can see I'm passing employee basic data like country and band which we can modify. We are passing the business rule service ID and the level which is hard coded. Later on it will be changed at runtime based on the level which you pass or which HR will pass while onboarding an employee. So I will trigger a new instance of the workflow. You can see it started and we should now receive a work item in our my inbox application. So I can switch over back here and you see now we received a work item for employee data. Let me onboard the employee. So I call the employee name as YouTube. And we can put department as let's say um, executive department. And now we will pass country as Canada and choose the employee band as executive. Yes. So for executive, the card type which will be issued is a platinum card. 
Now, first, let me show you my S4 on a system. I just have four employees, Spider-Man, Demo, Anubhav, and Ananya. The moment I trigger this workflow, it should create a new employee in my S4 HANA system. It should onboard employee with the, with the band, and then it should call the rule service to determine based on the band which card type can be assigned. So you see I'm passing executive bands. So executives in my company will get a platinum credit card. So let's click on submit. The employee onboarding starts. And now if I go back to S4 on a system and refresh, voila, you can see a new employee YouTube is created from Canada location with a T3 band and executive department. Awesome. And the next step, what we will see right away, if I go back to my inbox, my email box, my personal email box, I should be able to actually receive, uh, find email. Yes, I should receive an email and you will see uh, let me share my inbox. Here it is. And you can actually see here, I have received an email. Uh, employee YouTube was onboarded. Dear YouTube, congratulations on your job. A new credit card of category Platinum was issued to you. So complete end-to-end -end business process was automated without any manual intervention. Just HR needs to provide the employee data and the whole thing is fully automated. That's the real power of working with SAP BTP workflow, you can integrate many cross systems and eventually develop your end-to-end -end scenarios integrating with rule service, S4 on a success factor, field glass, conquer, Ariba, or any third party system to exchange the data using BTP workflow. For joining this complete course and learning, building powerful workflows, please subscribe our SAP BTP workflow training available only on anubautrainings.com. Once again, thank you so much for joining today's class. I'll catch you up in the next episode. Have a nice day. Goodbye.